Hello, hello, Lydia from Screw the Cubicle here. Welcome back. And I'm glad you're back today because today I want to be sharing one of the biggest foundational pieces of what I do in my work uh, that really supports people to not only start a business, but start a business that is a representation and an alignment with someone's genius zone and someone's value, right? Unique value that they want to put out there as a business owner. So today I want to talk about how you can actually lean on your corporate strengths as your unique secret sauce to start a business. Now, your existing strengths and your skills are just one piece of the puzzle in clarifying what I call your sweet spot for meaningful work, right? But it's not the only piece. We need to connect that piece of skills and strengths with your deep interests and how you truly want to impact with your work so that you can be proud of the work that you're putting out there. So I really look at the skills and the strengths that we have as sort of these tools that we have in our tool belt, you know, like you might have a hammer, a wrench, a screwdriver, but on its own, it's just a tool, right? It's sort of what we fix and how we use it <laughs> and how we deploy those tools, right? To solve particular problems that we wanna to contribute towards is what brings meaning into these skill sets. So in my six week idea to income course, the first piece we dive into is identifying what is your best work that really lies in the intersection of your skills, your deep interests, and the impact that you want to make. And as you can see from this little Venn diagram, right, there's three parts of this intersection that we really want to meet and almost use as a metric for meaningful work when we, it comes to discerning your ideas and creating uh, the right idea that's right for you to start as a business. So we start with taking a skills inventory. And so this is where most people don't haven't really looked back, you know, at all the different jobs and career pathways. And if your resume looks like mine, <laughs> that looks like it's for seven different people because I had such multi-passionate skills and multifaceted strengths that I used in different industries, it can seem really like, oh my gosh, what what is my best work? What is the thing that I really want to offer? What is my thing? Um, and what I do in the course is really help you to take this inventory effectively, not just to list out your jobs and list out all the different skill sets, but we want to dig deeper in how you performed in those skills that makes you different, that makes you special. What is an approach that you used in using a tool, a resource, a skill set you have, right, or a knowledge base that you have to really impact most powerfully in history that we want to use as a clue to potentially how that can open up a door to a fresh a new body of work that you want to do today, right? And we're going to really discern what is it that you want to do versus what you know how to do or have had to do in the past, but may no longer be in that body of work ingredients that it's going to be fulfilling for you to be doing, right? So we're really going to shortlist that so that you really know how these combinations of skills, not just on its own, but in combination, right? Multiple skills that can come together to really build um, a much more effective way that you might help others and therefore be able to charge great money for the work that you do. The second piece of the puzzle we'll dig into is what is your deep interest or what are you passionate about? Now, I know a lot of times the word passion can feel a bit daunting for people because we think we have to have a Gandhi moment of like, you know, one day we wake up and hits us in the middle of our forehead that this is the purpose that you have with your life. But the truth of the matter is that we are in charge of creating purpose, right? Creating passion into the work that we want to do rather than waiting for the gods to tell us what that looks like. You have the freedom and autonomy to do that. So we want to really look at how does your best skills really tie into topics and problems that you're passionate about, that you might already be reading about, that you might already be somehow immersing in, that maybe you haven't been able to do it in the current job that you have. But if you were to become an entrepreneur, you can have the freedom to design that work to include that, right? And it gives you a target of um, some, some interesting issues that are going on in the world that you want to contribute your skill sets towards, right? Which brings us to the third piece of the Venn diagram, impact. How do we really see your work creating the change that you want to see in the world, right? And so not only will we see the ripple effect 
right, of when you help someone with a specific kind of problem, with your specific kind of skills, it has a tidal wave effect, right, towards a bigger piece of a cause in the world, right, or a group of people that you really want to bring up into the world, right, something that gives your work meaning and purpose, and also that really helps to increase the attraction people have to your business, because they don't just want to buy your services, they want to buy your why, right, they want to be aligned with that why so that they can choose you potentially over other people. Right. So when we get to this beautiful intersection where your ideas can be in that right, that middle ground of skills, your best skills, your deep interest and your impact that you want to make. Now you can really discern your ideas with how each idea ties into each piece, how you can make each piece more meaningful and where you can really create purpose and meaning behind your work. That's going to truly help with having your business have a better story right? How you tell this story in the marketplace is going to be um, either going to be a weak message or it's going to be a strong message, right? Behind why you do what you do and invite the right people that should be working with you that also share that same purpose, right? Businesses are built uh, and brands are built to be recognized when we focus on really articulating the why behind our business. So, in Idea to Income, one of the biggest things I'm going to be teaching you is really how to talk about this work, how to position this work, not just as a job title. I'm a copywriter. I'm a web designer. I'm a coach, right? That's all everybody else is saying that, <laughs> right? But we want to really have a um, origin story, right? We really want to have a real why and purpose behind why you do what you do, who you do it for, and how it impacts a bigger cause that you, you can stand behind and other people can stand behind. Right. So hugely important. Right. Sweet spot for meaningful work. And then where does that bring us? Right. So in the program, what's going to be really clear for you as well is I'm going to help you to bring that sweet spot for your meaningful work and align it with a sweet spot business model. Right. There's not one size fit all business model for everyone or not a paint by numbers business model for everyone. You are a unique person and you have a unique way of working that is going to be beneficial for your well-being, for your energy level, for the way that you want to work with people, whether you're an introvert, an extrovert, and anyone in between. And we want to make sure that the offers that you create, whether they are services or products, and the vehicle of a business that you sort of have it in is going to be in alignment with your work style, your strengths, your personality type, right? And if we get that right, this is going to support you in actually wanting to show up for your business every day, right? It's not going to feel like a job you don't want to go to. So we're going to identify the right business, sweet spot business model that's right for your personality type. And when it matches, right, your uh, the way that you should be working, what's going to happen naturally is that it's going to amplify your strengths and your unique advantage. And you're really giving the best of who you are to your clients. And then they can't wait to talk about you and tell more people about the services and products that you have. So this is huge in the foundational work that I do that not a lot of people do out there when it comes to launching a business, starting a business. And if you've been feeling really fuzzy of like, what is the right business for me to start? And not only that, I want to make sure that it's a business that's going to last me tr uh, through the test of time and is really going to represent, right, who I really am, who I authentically am today so that I can do work that really matters to me and impacts the most powerfully out there in the world. So if all of that sounds right in your alley of launching a meaningful business based on who you are, I would love for you to join me in my next intake of the six week course idea to income where I'm going to be working side by side with you to start the dream business that you've been dreaming to start and ensure that you're starting the right business that's based on your personality type.